That's right. Can you tell us shortly about the history of what you see studies in Japan and the major projects of the science there? Okay. Well, there, our Christian history is about 450 years old after the St. Francis Xavier Xavier came to Japan. Although our government closed our country almost 300 years, so the Catholic tradition was kind of oppressed by that. But after we kind of opened the country, major restoration at the end of 19th century, we started learning from the Western culture, but mainly based on the technical side, well, the military you know, government and everything and their constitution. But now, people want to learn the kind of the spirituality of Western civilization, not only the technique, but also the spirituality. That's why, though, you know, there, after World War II, 1945, we start learning from the Christianity very the beginning. Read the Bible from original and read the Patrick's text from original. So we learn and also from first they learn from the philosophic side the philosophy of western civilization western philosophy but now that really related and somehow based on christianity so that's why we learn their christian patristic studies now so for well we are very kind of the history of patristic studies is only 50 years old or so but many scholars are interested in patristic study and realize their importance. For example, say St. Augustine, they thought they are a philosopher. He is a philosopher. Well, he is a philosopher too, but still his Christian spirituality and their Christian, how to say, the idea is very important for the Japanese people. Can you tell us uh, about the mission of patristic studies today? Every science has its own mission. Mm -hmm. What's the mission? What's the role of patristic well, studies the, in modern society? Well, that's, that's a very good question because, you see, patristic most of thought it's kind of old early church issue but i think the essence of christianity and is always in the patristic spirits and their works exegesis but not only that holy communion and other liturgy but everyday issue for the people the essence of christianity is lies in their patristic studies so try to grasp the essence of christianity from the exceeds pontibus we need to learn the patristic study. So that's a mission today because you see, we're kind of misunderstand or distorted idea we got from their many, many first denomination or whatever their history of Protestant and Catholic or Orthodoxy. But with regard to the patristic study, we don't need any kind of prejudice or preoccupied idea. So we try to get the main idea of Christianity from the very beginning. So that's why, and we can understand the kind of universality of the uh, Patristic Fathers and their daily devotional kind of hard work, how to deal with, for example, persecution, how to deal with church politics, how to deal with their everyday kind of non, I'd say, their sophisticated ordinary believers, how to serve them as a main issue of Patristic study. So that's why. It's the same mission we have, uh, even in the 200 years ago, almost. Yes. Uh, and the last question: uh, What are the perspectives of patristic studies? What what fields we should research now? What are the lacunes? Well, that's a very, very difficult question, I must say. But to learn how many, how say, denomination accepted the patristic study? Well, there influences of Patrick's study is most important, I think, and how we can find their same basis of to understand each other. So I think that in the Patrick's study, we can find the same spirit and before we do a lot of sisma or, you know, the, and, and, uh, I'll say they find their own denomination, their way of Christianity, but we think in Krishna essence and the universal he is in the Ari Church Fathers and Spirit and their exegesis. And that's kind of the touchstone for modern and academic study of the Bible and everything. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure.